Weave It Pro for Mac, Parallel Threading, Warp Wrap, Echo Weave, and Double Weave. For this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a warp rep pattern using parallel threading. So I need a warp thread and a weft thread. I think I'll use um, pink on the weft and that on the blue. So I mouse down, I'm going to set it to line, mouse down and just draw a simple pattern here just to get it for demo purposes. And we'll draw a simple warp pattern. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to do the tie up. The tie up is always half on and half off. So when we with four shafts, with eight shaft weave, we have four shafts down and four up and I twill that. So that's our design. We'll look at that in the fabric view. That is what you have here. That's our design. Now we're going to turn that into a warp rep pattern using parallel threading. Parallel threading's on the design menu. I'm going to use threading with two lines opposite. So I've selected this one. And so I have to pick the second color. I'm going to use the warp, the weft color here as my second color on the warp. And the offset is four, which is half of halfway because it's opposites. And then I'm going to pick treadling again, two lines opposite. This time I'm going to pick yellow so it stands out and we can distinctly see that one. And it also is opposite with four. Then I'm going to pick OK, and you now see the uh, edit view and the fabric view, and the you can kind of see the shadow weave effect on that fabric view. It's pretty confusing on the edit view. But now we're going to adjust our yarns and set them to variable width. The yarns for uh, warp rep are usually set uh, with a 5-2 type cotton are usually set about 40 and so our two warp yarns are the pink and the blue so we'll set those each at 40 and we'll set this fat one here at 6 because it's going to be our fat one we'll call it fat and we'll call these two thin When I accept that, you see a new design here, but you can st still see our yellow, and that is because this should be, the weave type is warp-faced. It's t You tend to set it very tight for, um, say, a 5-2 cotton, you set twice as tight as you would set it to just weave balance weave. So now I don't see the yellow anymore, and I see the pattern, and it's predominantly all this blue and pink and that is how you create a warp rip pattern for this demo now I am going to show you how to fix the threading so that it's easier to thread the threading and the treadling I'm going to first of all close the fabric view and I'm going to select the Rearrange Shafts and Treadles icon. I'm going to pick that one. When I drag it over here to the treadling, you see it has a different shape with an arrow there. You select the shaft you want to move and drag it to where you want it to be. So we're trying to move these to make this a straight line. So six needs to go to four. So we'll move it there and seven to eight. Six. So now we've got the threading straightened out. Now we'll do the treadling. The cursor changes into a different direction and I just drag it to where I want it. And again, it's very quick and easy to do. And that is now uh, didn't change our fabric view at all and it's much easier to 
weave and much easier to treadle. In a previous video, I demonstrated creating an echo weave using a network drafted draft with uh, advancing twill weft. And I'm going to repeat that and use the same draft since it came out pretty nice and show you again how to create a echo weave. So it's pretty simple. I have a, um, we'll zoom down here, you can see the advancing twill here, the network draft created here. So I go over to the design menu, pick parallel threadings, we're not going to use the treadling. We're just going to add a second line on opposites, and I'm going to make it yellow. I want a distinct color. And it's exactly half, so it's six treadles, because this is a 12-shaft pattern. And we have the design. We'll make it a little smaller here, and you can see it. We'll open it in the fabric view. And you can see that Echo Weave is a really nice because it blends the colors so nicely and you get all these different color ranges. The pattern draft over here, as you go zoom it in, does not have any green in it. There's yellow and pink on the top here and blue on the side and yet over in the weaving uh, fabric view you can see that you're also getting green and more of a rusty red and that's because the colors are blending and it gives you some really wonderful effects with. I am going to show you how to do four color double weave. I have opened a double weave pattern, I mean, actually it's a twill pattern and uh, examine the threading and the treadling and you will see that it's an odd even sequence. That's the first rule for a four color double weave draft. Network drafts also work well because they follow that sequence. Now look at the tie up. You'll see that half of the tie up along the diagonal here is plain weave and you can see that in the drawdown. The other half has uh, half of those threadles are down, half are up, so it's half and half. So I have four shafts here showing, and I show two down, two up, and then the plain weave, and then it's on the twill. So that's what your uh, tie-ups, basic tie-ups, will look like. Now we're going to go and use our parallel threading to create the double weave. I'm going to use threading, two lines, I'm going to pick it as yellow and there are uh, half shafts up, half down, and so it'll be four shafts on the, for the parallel line. For the treadling, I'm going to add an equal number of shafts and I'm going to again just use two lines and pick, um, I'll use green, it's eight shafts because there are actually, you know, when I double it, are 16 treadles. So we'll, half of those are eight. I pick OK. And I now see that um, this half here is doubled. So now we select the tie up. Go over, copy it. Select where we want to paste it, pick paste. The next thing we do to the tie up, it's still selected, so we want to invert it. And then we want to wrap it four times because there are eight shafts and we're using half of them. So there's one, two, three, four. And this forms the back layer of the cloth. The final thing that I do for my double weave is to set the weave type. It's on the project menu. I pick double weave. You can't see anything in the edit view, but if you go to the fabric view, 
you can now see it as a double weave. I'll just zoom in a little and you can see the distinct squares. And so we can look at the back. And we get a really pretty nice design here. You get some really wonderful effects with four colored double weave and it's one of my favorite weaves. Thank you from Weave It Pro for the Mac. See it at www.weaveit.com and buy it in your app store on your Mac.